Hey yo everyone, we are here on a tier maker. We are about to make a tier list of Terraria major and minor content updates. Obviously there's a couple updates missing, but I grabbed ones that I think were fairly important to the history of Terraria. I wanted to do this when the labor of love update came out, but I thought that was coming out on the anniversary. It didn't. So let's just do it right now. Forget it. So let's start with the major content updates. Let's knock these out here. We got one. 1.1 1.1 that is a very important update that added in hard mode that added in hard mode and added in the mech trio the mech trio back in 1.1 i don't know if it was because the gear was bad or if i was bad but those original mech trio that felt like master mode moon lord or something bro i don't think i ever beat well maybe like once or twice i beat one of the mech trios but like back in the day the mech trio was tough man it felt like i was fighting them for like a year when i fought them this i definitely if not s tier i think it is a, a very high a tier update is very important in terraria's history but moving on to another one that's very important 1.2 1.2 was one of the times where i hopped back into playing terraria and i was like dang this is a lot of content to play with 1.2 obviously gave us plantera golem gave us a lot more meat to that hard mode so honestly i consider this an s tier update i'm definitely putting it above 1.1 because i remember just having so much fun with 1.2 but then here comes 1.3 and this gave us an actual ending to terraria with beating the moon lord gave us so much more content flushed out everything made all the classes good except for summoner obviously summoner got tweaked over time but 1.3 i think 1.3 easily is the best terraria update of all time above 1.2 and then we got journeys and 1.4 now journeys and is always weird because it is a great quality of life update with a decent amount of actual content in it but in terms putting them next to these three updates and how impactful these three updates are and like how much shorter time in between these three updates are compared to this one you would think with how long 1.4 took to come out it would be one of the biggest updates ever it's called the end of the journey but the thing is the journey ended in 1.3 so how are we making something called journey's end i know it's supposed to be the developers are done you know making the game it's the end of their journey but then we pretty much got 1.5 a work in progress going on with the labor of love i know it's not actually 1.5 but you know what i mean so what the hell even is journey's end they fake this out with saying it's the end of the journey just kidding we're still working on the game so 1.4 great quality of life update a lot of good content they polished summoner they made summoner amazing but in terms of putting these next to these three and how long it took for 1.4 to come out i'm gonna say 1.4 is a solid just like average update it's still a great update don't get me wrong i love all the quality of life features in it but if i'm comparing it to these three major updates this is a fairly average update if anything i would put it low a i'm I might move things around once we get the rest of these up here next up the don't starve update the don't starve update is cool i like it a lot i like when they do collabs with other games i feel like terraria is really good at doing those sometimes i feel like they could add a little bit more like for this don't starve update i kind of wish they did like straight up the reign of giants but i do like that that they added a boss in general with deer clops but i would i would just like those other three giants in there it would have been nice maybe have like an event or not even an event because you know we have a lot of events but maybe have it like a boss fight that progressively gets harder you know you kill the deer clops boom dragonfly comes in you kill the dragonfly the barrier comes in you kill that whatever the goose one is called comes in i don't know something like that like progressively the bosses get harder as you fight all the giants i feel like they could have did more i feel like they could have added in more weapons and stuff one thing i feel like they low-key slacked on was my boy bernie if you guys know bernie and don't starve he's a giant like bear you can summon and he is a homie that helps you beat up a bunch of enemies why did they make him a pet instead of a giant summon you can bring in that is a 100% a missed opportunity. I feel like they could have did more because Don't Starve has a lot of cool items, a lot of unique items, and some of the weapons that ended up being in the update, like the the hand bat, the bat bat, like come on, they chose some of the most boring weapons from Don't Starve. Like just look at Don't Starve's right here. Let me pull it up. Let's just look at some of Don't Starve weapons that could have fit a lot better. We got the alarming clock. This is pretty much like a flail. Dark sword. I feel like a dark sword would have been cool to add. They got an obsidian spear. I mean, I guess a spear you know would be the craziest thing to add in the morning star bull kelp tell of three cats like there's actually whips in 
don't start that they could have added more tools they could have added like i feel like out of all the stuff they chose they they went a little lackluster in terms of the items they chose but there still is a lot of cool ones like they added in the weather pane pumatic horn those are great ones but i feel like the choices could have been better especially for the summoner they could have added in a couple more summoner items they did they added in two but they could have did a lot more with don't starve i still think it's a great update though i'm putting it in b because you know it's a good update they could have did a little bit more it's, it's like 1.4 honestly great update could have done a little bit more next up we got the duke fish run update duke fish run solid boss cool boss to fight gives you a reason to go even near the ocean and he's got like decent loot man some of the loot he has is, they're really not bad weapons i'm gonna say the duke is also gonna go in this area but i'm gonna put him above the deer clubs the duke has become such a solid part of terraria like everyone fights the duke everyone gets gear from the duke there's gonna be people in the comments that be like no i don't get gear from him that's cool bro good for you all right next up we have the two holiday events now i really enjoyed these holiday events when they came out but i feel like as terraria expanded more and more and came out with more updates these two events i really just skip past every time unless i really need something like for example the summoner obviously i'm gonna do the pumpkin moon if i'm a summoner but like other than that like the frost moon and the pumpkin moon they really don't offer weapons you need to get your hands on like i think i'm gonna fight the duke way more than i'm gonna fight these two events because you know i actually want to fight the duke for a certain reason like i don't even think the frost moon drops yeah the frost moon doesn't drop a summon does it i don't know i might be remembering wrong but like if an event doesn't have at least like one of every type of weapon for each class in the event it's like what's the point in doing it bro there is no point in me stopping by for that event i'm gonna put these both in c i still think they're great events don't get me wrong with the with the letter grading here i i love all of these updates but i really don't find myself doing these events like ever unless i absolutely need to or if i'm just trying to be a completionist that run all right next up we got the old ones army the old ones army is a great event i like that it adds in a bunch of hybrid armors and it's not just a summoner event and i like that it also expands the summoner i'm putting this in an a i think it's just a great solid collab event i think this is a perfect example of them doing collab events i think they hit it right on the nose like literally is perfect in terms of collabing with another game especially with the uh, labor and love adding in being able to skip waves which was like my biggest flaw with the old ones army is like legit waiting like 30 seconds between each wave it's like come on bro i'm just trying to get to the action i don't need no breather unless i'm playing on maybe like master mode or for the worthy i don't need no breather but other than that great event no complaints next up we got the what is it like the desert and blizzard update where they added in sandstorms and blizzards something like that this update is a cool update i'm not gonna lie i like that they added in a new armor set from it that is pretty cool a little new event but other than that the sandstorm event really is kind of pointless there's not much else to it like i'm trying to think other than you know getting like maybe like one weapon and then the the armor from it like what else do you do with it not much honestly i think sandstorms are more annoying than they are useful <laughs> especially when you're playing modded area and say there's like a desert boss you actually gotta fight and then it's just a sandstorm messing up the fight kind of annoying i've had that happen a lot so i'm gonna put that down here and see and next up we got the torch god torch god was a nice little update gave us the ability you know to have the uh, color torches and it played a big factor in them removing the bad luck feature because i have no idea what the hell relogic was thinking in adding a bad luck feature in a game where 99.9 percent .9 of the drops are based on luck i really still don't understand like what the hell they were thinking and all of that all the luck stuff based on what torch you use and what biome like god damn relogic you almost fumbled you almost fought you did fumble and then you took it out and saved the fumble it's like they reviewed the play to make sure it wasn't a fumble yeah other than that i do like the torch god i, I like it as a little addition uh i think i would just put it like high c i don't think i'm gonna put it like above these because you know there's not a lot of content but like the luck feature they improved it made it better took out the bad luck part which is amazing so like literally without this update items would be even harder to get nothing in f tier i don't think i would put anything in terms of tutorial updates in f tier maybe no like nothing i would i wouldn't even put Put like the wiring update in f tier i don't really touch wiring like that but like i don't think it's a bad thing but yeah there you go there's my little tier list thing if i were to guess where i'd put labor of love it'd probably be above 1.4 or maybe even an a because if they're doing all them quality of life changes that they've shown so far it's gonna be a good update just like i said about 1.4 my favorite thing about 1.4 is the quality of life changes but yeah if i were to move anything around i think i'd knock 1.4 up here 
okay because uh, i really do like 1.4 i would rather always play in terraria 1.4 than 1.3 but like in terms of t mod loader you know how it is it's not out yet or at least not a 100 percent stable version is out yet but yeah let me know your guys's thoughts on this get the comments flowing for that algorithm of course uh, i did actually make this tier list so i'll drop the link in the description or in the comments you guys go ahead and do it do whatever you want but yeah thank you everyone for watching i'll see y'all next time